Hello, my name is Daniel, and I'm going to present the work Train One, Classify One, Teach One Cross Surgery Transfer Learning for Surgical Step Recognition. This work was also written by Umbre War, Maya Zohar, Gregory D. Hager, and Datan Asselman. So, we're going to start with this quick introduction, going through uh, presenting our data sets, the methods, and of course, the results of our work. So surgical step recognition is parsing a procedure video into meaningful segments that representing the surgeon workflow, making this a fundamental task in this domain. Previous work mainly explored step recognition on single type of procedure. And in this work, we are going to present a transfer learning framework that includes two parts. The first one is the network, the time series adaptation network that is sum and unsupervised warm up method sequence sorting. And uh, potentially, transfer learning in this domain can yield better results with less training time. So let's go through our data sets. We use uh, three data sets, uh, consist of three different procedures right hand colectomy, sleep hysterectomy, and appendectomy. While the transfer learning it was from laparoscopic cholecystectomy, each procedure is divided into seven different surgical steps. Each procedure has its own steps, although they have some in common, like preparation and final inspection. We split the data with a ratio of 25% to the test set, 20% of the remaining is going to validation set. Also, we evaluate the, our models on per frame accuracy and report the test uh, results. We can see here that the right hemi and the sleep hysterectomy data sets are almost the same size, and the appendectomy is uh, almost three times bigger. So let's go through the methods. Uh, our method, training method, has two steps. The first one is to do training and feature extraction from a video using a 3D cognats, in our case, the I3D and the LAN, and training a time series model on top of these features. For the time series model, we compare ourselves with the common approaches, uh, which are the 1D convolution networks and the LSTMs. So let's go through our um, Tassan uh, architecture. So basically, we're taking the features from the video and passing through a bunch of conv 1D uh, layers, each one with different kernel size and the LSTM, concatting the results uh, and passing it through an LSTM, followed by a fully connected layer, which uh, is the classified classification layer. And let's talk a bit about the sequence sorting. So the fact that we are using deeper and bigger network combined with the fact that the surgical data sets are relatively small inspired us to explore and investigate into an unsupervised warm-up methods. And we came up with this sequence sorting, which is basically split the video features into nine segments. We randomly shuffle the order and pass the each one of the segments separately through the network. Then we aggregate the uh, output of each in, of each segments together and feeding it into a fully connected classification layer. That its eventual task is to predict what the selected permutation. Uh, after the training, we remove the classification layer, and in this work, we use the sequence sorting to pre-train DLSTM and data sun to, uh, together. And unless stated otherwise, we train the uh, sequence sorting using the same procedure that uh, we train the 3D continents, uh, mainly the cholecystectomy. Let's go through the results. So the first one is the more traditional way of doing such tasks when we train the con 3D net separately from the time series networks. And this achieves an average 92% accuracy, while our method leveraging the sequence sorting together with the Tassan architecture gives a 
And now we will ask how the dataset size impacts on the model generalization. And we can see that clearly from even from small number of samples, our method is generalizing better. Finally, we can ask ourselves how the procedure that the sequence sorting task is trained on influences the final accuracy results. And we can see here that firstly, the network converges uh, quickly when trained on cholecystectomy. And secondly, that the final results are a bit higher. Thank you for listening. For more details, you are welcome to read our paper. Thank you.